Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft World War 1 vehicle tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going ahead and doing the Fokker DR1 with a crew of one, only one pilot. Dimensions you can see on screen now, it has a length of about 5.77 meters. Its uh, role was a fighter and the number built was uh, about 320. Armaments include uh, two 7.92 millimeter machine guns. Engine you can see right here, a total of 110 horsepower. Moving on over to its performance, it had a max speed of 185 kilometers per hour at sea level. Anyways, enjoy the tutorial. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Gertu over here bringing you another Minecraft World War 1 vehicle tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and redo the Fokker DR1. Now, the Fokker DR1 was a triplane that was uh, used in World War 1 as a fighter aircraft. Uh, the DR-1 saw widespread service in the spring of 1918, and it became famous as the aircraft in which Manfred von Richthofen gained his last 19 victories, and the, it was the plane that he was killed in uh, in uh, April of 1918. Um, so uh, overall, it's uh, you know very popular uh, due to uh, its association with the Red Baron, and uh, as you can see, it's pretty much got kind of like Red Baron-ish type uh, paint scheme, which I imagine a lot of you guys would like to have. And of course, you guys can always change up the paint scheme if you guys want. But uh, you know, I think uh, the Rift, the Red Baron and just the plain looking red and stuff. It's like come and get me type deal. It's uh, pretty dang sweet. Now, uh, a lot of you guys may remember my old Fokker DR1. Uh, it was all right, I guess, for the time. Uh, I've greatly improved. Just believe it or not, like over the few months that I've it's been since I released it, uh, I've greatly improved, and at least I like to think so. And I decided to go ahead and give it another shot. Now, I just recently released the Soplift Camel, and I didn't want to leave you guys hanging with a crappy Fokker DR1 going against a pretty nice looking uh, Soplift. We gotta be equal to both sides here. So, I decided to go ahead and redo the Fokker DR1 for you guys. Um, and it's overall pretty sweet. A lot of nice changes, and of course, a new use of blocks and uh, stuff like that just really helps it uh, a lot. So, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look here at the uh, Fokker DR1. So uh, to go ahead and get started here, you can see up in the front, uh, we have the engine. Now the cool thing about the engine here is that it wasn't completely covered up like it was for most of the biplanes and stuff like that, or pretty much most of them. Uh, the bottom half was kind of exposed, so you can see like the pistons are... I, I really don't know what to call it, just the, just the part of um, the engine on the bottom here, like the bottom half of the engine. So I wanted to really make sure I incorporated that, and you can see I kind of did it here. With the use of anvils and some work with some strings and stuff, it comes out pretty nice. And of course you have your big prop here in the front. And uh, some, uh, you know, nice markings around the uh, engine and all that kind of stuff. Uh, right in there you can see where the gun would be. Um, it's only represented by one end rod. Technically it would have two um, MGs there in that position. But uh, due to the Minecraft uh, scaling and everything, I was only able to fit in one end rod to represent the barrel. But you would imagine that there would be two guns right there. Or uh, just the guns are going to be there in general. Of course, this is a triplane, so you got your three uh, wings kind of set like that. They would technically be a little bit more off-centered, like they would kind of be like a gradual kind of slant a little bit. But uh, just with the, with the scaling and stuff like that, I wasn't going to be able to get something that looked uh, like looked how I wanted it to. So I just went ahead and just made them all straight and uh, equal with each other and uh, where it's positioned. So that's one little thing that's not exactly accurate, but uh, I did it just so that the build would actually look a little bit better. Um, right in here, you can see this is where the pilot would be seated, so you can make some kind of little cockpit in here. Uh, I won't really be doing one for the tutorial, just uh, for the sake of it, and I mean, you guys can easily uh, put something in right there. Uh, just some more white uh, white markings and stuff like that. And then you have your tail back here, uh, horizontal stabilizers, the rudder, all that stuff. Um, overall, pretty nice. Uh, I really do like the look of the uh, new Fokker Deer one. Definitely a uh, step up over our... Uh, previous design that we had and uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy this new design putting it to use with your battlefields and all that stuff and especially now with the soft with camel you guys can definitely put some cool stuff together so anyways uh, that's it for a little bit of an overview of the Fokker DR1 and let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer layer one all right guys so going ahead and moving on to our first layer here we have layer one as you can see I already have uh, pretty much the first part of this uh, layer pretty much uh, or pretty much the layer complete and I'm just going to go over how you guys want to go in and build this so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place down three brick top slabs across like so. And then on either side of those three brick top slabs, we're going to place down a block of coal, as you can see, just like this on either side. And then on the uh, end side of these blocks, we're going to place down a stone button, followed by an iron frame that goes around it. So you get something that looks like that to pretty much make the wheels on the side. Now coming off of these uh, three brick uh, half slabs, or top slabs I should say, whichever way you want the back of the plane to be facing, so our back of the plane is going to be going that direction. 
we're gonna go ahead and place down three iron trap doors coming off of these uh, these uh, nice brick top slabs. And uh, this is pretty much going to make the bottom wheels, you can see down there, and pretty much the axle that goes across and connects them, uh, pretty much connects them up. And all that stuff, uh, this right here is the very uh, lowest point of the vehicle as well, so if you guys are uh, building this close to the ground or whatever, uh, you can use this for reference that this is going to be the lowest part. So uh, anything above this uh, will be pretty much uh, where the plane is going to be. So again, refer to the mentions uh, I had at the beginning of the video in case you guys are a little bit more curious on uh, positioning this vehicle. But other than that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer 2. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer here, we have layer 2. For layer 2, what we're going to do is we're going to go and take another brick fence post, place down one like this on these two narrow brick, or sorry, these two uh, brick top slabs like this on either side. And then coming off those fence posts, we're going to place down two uh, broke stairs like that, upside down, coming off them just like that. And again, these are going to be the op on the uh, front side of the aircraft, so our aircraft going to be facing that way, so the front's going to be right up here. So you guys can kind of take that into account uh, when building this. Now once you guys have that done, we're going to go ahead and go uh, pretty much uh, to the front here and in the center. We're going to place down a stone brick top slab that's in that position like so. In between these uh, narrow brick fence posts, we're going to go ahead and place down uh, two uh, brick top slab and then followed by one more brick top slab that comes back just like that. So you pretty much get something that looks like this for the uh, very front section of the aircraft. And uh, once you guys have that done, that's it for uh, layer 2. And with that, we can move on to layer 3. Alright guys, so moving on to our next layer here, we have layer 3. Now for layer 3, uh, we're going to go ahead and pretty much start off by taking an anvil and placing down one like this, uh, facing this direction and everything like that, on top of this stone brick top slab. Now, once we get that done, we're going to go ahead and take a string and place down a string coming off of these two brick upside down stairs. And on top of those strings, we're going to go ahead and place down an anvil facing this direction like that. So you can see they're facing the uh, opposite direction this anvil is, just to kind of uh, make the engine look a little, little bit uh, nicer have a little bit more uh, depth to it and just all around look nicer so that's what we have going on right there now uh one thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to make an make a stone brick top slab coming off of this anvil uh in the center something like that and that's where our propeller or props are going to hook up to is this stone brick top slab which we'll get to a little bit later now once you have that done from these anvils we're going to go to the sides here we're going to go ahead and go back one two and three uh red stained clay full blocks same thing over here one two and three back in the very center here, we can go ahead and also fill this in with red stained clay, going ahead and going back three blocks as well. So you have a three by three square pretty much in the space. Now on the side here, on this red stained clay block that's right on top of that brick upside down stair, we can also go ahead and take a stone button and place down one just like that for a little bit of extra added detail. Now when you guys get to this point here, we're going to go ahead and place down, I just want to double check my counting here. Uh, we want to go ahead and place down one and two and three brick half slabs, followed by a brick stair, and then a brick half slab just like this. Now this right here is going to go ahead and start to get into your uh, first wing down here and we're just going to go ahead and place down a row of five of brick half slabs right behind it. So you can see we have the support right here for the wings uh, that's near the front there and then this back is just a solid row of half slabs all the way across. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing over here onto this side. So again five half slabs out, three for this row, a stair facing this direction and then another brick half slab uh, just like that. So you get something that looks like that so far for the very front. Now, uh, once you have uh, that done, we can go ahead and continue to uh, build this uh, vehicle back. So, for this section right here, we can go ahead and take our uh, red uh, hardened clay. We can go ahead and place down a row of three across, or sorry, my bad, a red stained clay block in the center there, followed by a brick upside down stair like this on either side. We then can go ahead and take a brick corner stair, place this down on either side, and then in between the brick corner stairs, we can place down a red stained clay full block. Uh, coming off this red stained clay full block, we can go ahead and place down two quartz full blocks. And then next to this first quartz full block right here, we can place down a quartz top slab on either side like so. Coming back from this uh, quartz full block, we're going to place down one and two brick uh, top slabs, followed by a quartz top slab like that on the very end. Now that's pretty much the uh, basic shape for this layer. Uh, for a few detail bits, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some signs. And we're also going to go ahead and need to grab ourselves some item frames. Now to kind of cover the side of, the, of this engine a little bit better, we're going to go ahead and crouch, place down a sign. And we're placed down. We're actually gonna have to crouch again and place down an item frame, just like that. So it's gonna create a nice little uh, siding here for the engine, uh, just like this, and uh, looks pretty nice actually. Came out uh, pretty good. Works for uh, what I what I wanted it to, because I didn't want the uh, whole portion of this engine to kind of be showing. Like you can see more on the front here, and then it kind of has these uh, panels that kind of cover up the sides a little bit better. So uh, that's what I was trying to go for right there, and I think it pulls it off pretty well. But anyways, that's it for your uh, third layer, and with that we can move on to layer four.
Before we go ahead and move on to our next layer, I just want to go ahead and uh, point out a few little detail bits that I missed in layer 3. Uh, these are very simple things, and uh, all we need to do is just go ahead and take some end rods, place down an end rod like this on your side of the beginning, the first kind of lower wing uh, set like that. Then uh, we want to go ahead and go to this brick corner stair right here. We're going to place down a placeholder block that's kind of uh, at an angle down from below it. So we can go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence gate on top of that placeholder block, and then we can go ahead and open it up like that. Um, on this, uh, on the design, I saw it had like this little uh, step thingy, so uh, probably, presumably, for the pilots to easier, e have an easier time getting into and out of the aircraft. So that's what uh, th that's meant to represent right there. Anyways, that's uh, all for layer three, and with that, we can now go ahead and move on to layer four. All right, guys. So go ahead and move on to layer four. Now, for layer four, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go to this center anvil right here, placed on a black stain clay block on top of it, like so, and then we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood stair and we're going to go ahead and place it down either side of the black stain clay block to pretty much create something like that. We're then going to go ahead and real quickly grab ourselves a nice stone button and we're going to place that down on the uh, black stain clay block just like that to add a little bit more detail to the front of the, uh, the uh, aircraft. Now going ahead and going back from this we're going to go ahead and take a uh, brick stair, place down a brick stair like this on either side and in the space in between them we can place down a red stain clay block though it doesn't really matter because that space will be covered up. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take some red stain clay. We're going to place down two red stain clay blocks like this on your side. And again, we can go ahead and fill that space in the center there. Um, doesn't really uh, matter too much. Now, uh, when we get to this point right here, right here we're going to have our wings again. So for this, we're going to place down... Uh, we're going to kind of replicate what we did for this uh, layer here, but we're going to be using top slabs this time. So we're going to place down one, two, and three top slabs, but this time we're going to place down an upside-down brick stair like that. So it connects up to create this strut right here. And then we just want to place down a top side coming off like that right here so this can be a row of five of bricks all the way across going over to this side we're going to go ahead and pretty much repeat the same thing and we'll pretty much have our second uh, set of our wings just like that now uh, once you get that done we're going to go ahead and go to this se section here we're going to place down a brick half slab on your side and uh, we'll go ahead and leave that alone for right now we'll get back to that in a sec here come back to this section we're going to place down a row of three of red stained clay across grabbing ourselves some quartz half slabs we're going to place down a quartz full block Followed by a quartz half slab on either side. Coming back from this quartz full block, we're going to place down a quartz half slab like so. Followed by one and two brick half slabs. Followed by a uh, quartz full block. And we're going to need to grab ourselves a quartz stair. Um, upside down one that we're going to place down on the back of that, or the side there of that quartz full block. <clears throat> now, once you get that done, we're going to go ahead and take our brick slabs again. We're going to go ahead and go to this brick slab right here. We're going to place down one brick slab that comes off of it, followed by one and two back, so you have a row of three. We're then going to go ahead and go at an angle here, place down two brick half slabs at an angle, place down a brick half slab uh, going back like that for the horizontal stabilizer. And we're just going to repeat the same thing on the air side, just like that. So you get something that pretty much looks like that from the top down view. Now, um, as I mentioned, we're going to go ahead and go back to this section right here. Now, uh, for this to kind of... Uh, cover this up a little bit uh, we're actually probably gonna need to go into our inventory just to make it easier to grab ourselves another item frame like so now what I went ahead and did here is I went ahead and placed down a sign on that uh, brick uh, half slab uh, just to kind of show that the this is where like the pilot would sit it's a little bit lower uh, it has like a little bit of a dip down right here and I went ahead and placed down an item frame in it as well just to kind of you know make it look a little bit nicer add a little bit more red to it and we're gonna do that on either side like that and uh, once you have that done, that's pretty much it for your uh, fourth layer. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer five. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we have layer five. Now, for layer five, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start by going to these brick stairs right here in the front, right after these dark oak wood stairs. We're going to go ahead and take a dark oak wood upside down stair, place it down like this on top of this uh, dark, uh, brick stair. And we're going to go ahead and place down one right over here on this side as well. So as you can see, you have two upside down brick stairs uh, facing that direction like so. It's going to be kind of like the supports here for the top wing and uh, everything like that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, pretty much skip a space of one right here and we're going to place down two brick stairs uh, both with their backs toward these uh, upside down stairs so you get something like that again that's going to be part of the supports. Now in this space right here pretty much right in the middle uh, it kind of like forms an X here we're going to place down a stone brick uh, half slab followed by an end rod coming off of like that for the uh, machine gun that the or to represent the two machine guns that this uh, aircraft would have on it. Now, uh, once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and also go to the wings here. And on top of this upside down uh, brick stair, we're going to place down an air brick fence post like this on your side to continue those struts that go up on the sides or for the wings. 
And then lastly for this layer, we're just going to go ahead and take some quartz stairs, place down two quartz stairs back to back on top of the, the quartz sub sound stair here and the quartz full block uh, to go ahead and pretty much complete your uh, tail. And uh, once you have that done, that's pretty much it for layer five. And with that, we can move on to our last final layer, layer six. All right, guys, so going ahead and move on to our last layer here. We have layer six. Now for this layer, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to our brick stairs right here. Now on top of these brick stairs, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of uh, brick half slabs. So you can see this uh, half slab in the center here will be kind of open this above this open space and it just fell there. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and place down another row of three that's going to come out uh, toward the front. So you get something that pretty much looks like that for the wing. Now that we have that pretty much in, put into play, we can go ahead and build off of that. Now, uh, when you get to this point here, we're going to go ahead and place down a two brick half slabs like this on your side. So we're going to place down one and two. And then same thing over here, one and two. For a little bit of the markings, we're going to place down uh, two rows of two here of white quartz uh, half slabs. So just like this on your side. Uh, just to kind of uh, show there would be the uh, German cross uh, in that section there. But of course, we can't do it with the scale we're at. So we're just going to have to let that one go. Now, uh, once you get that done, we're going to place down two more rows of two of uh, brick half slabs. Just like this. And then we're going to place down one brick half slab that sticks out uh, like that to the side. Same thing over here on this side. And just like that. So uh, when you look at this from above, you should have something that looks just like that. For your wings and everything like that, they should all be pretty much aligned except for this little part that sticks out on the side there. So it's just about the end of the video there. And then I realized we don't have the props on. <laughs> so get a little hit of myself there. We have to put the props on. So for this, we're just going to go ahead and go diagonal from the stone brick half slab. We're going to place down a uh, spruce wood. Uh, half slab right here followed by a spruce wood top slab like that. We're just going to kind of follow this angle uh, like this and do the same thing over here on this side. Uh, maybe a little bit trickier because we have the anvils here and we can't really place them off here when we're with, unless we're crouched and we're kind of floating right now so we can't really do it too well. But we're going to go ahead and basically do something like that. So essentially you want kind of it to go across an angle and of course you guys can modify this to however you guys want to have it. Uh, but that's just what I'm going to be doing for uh, this uh, design right here and uh, everything like that. Anyways, guys, uh, that is now going to do it for this uh, vehicle. I uh, hope you guys do enjoy the design. It's definitely an improvement and will make a really awesome addition to any dogfights uh, with the uh, Stop with Camel and uh, the uh, Fokker uh, DR1 going at it. Uh, two of the most iconic uh, World War I um, biplanes and triplanes or just fighter planes in general. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this design and also enjoy that one. If you guys haven't seen that one, there will be a uh, card in the... Uh, top right hand corner you guys can go and check out to uh, go ahead and take that or just check out my World War One playlist. Anyways, uh, if you guys uh, do end up using this design, I do ask you guys give me proper credit for this. Me anything from a sign of the bill to link to my channel or this video if there's a pair on any social media sites. Just be sure to give me proper credit for the design. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It uh, helps my channel grow and it helps me continue to continue to produce these tutorials. Um, if you guys have any World War One vehicle requests, be sure to leave them down in the comments below and I'll be sure to try to get to them as soon as I can. Other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your 204, and I'll see you guys next time.